one question that comes to mind is that when are we going to be free from this second slavery that we have found ourselves? You know, we have been enslaved even in our own country. We have been talking, they have been talking about marginalization. We've been talking about marginalization, marginalization every now and then. Everyone is marginalized apart from the political elites, apart from the politicians, apart from those who are close to power, apart from those who are opportune to be at the end of affairs of this country. You know, just watch this video, you know, it will give you a kind of a, 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 a mindset or a kind of things that have been happening that we don't even know where we are going to be out of it. Just watch, we'll come back and deliberate on that. Indigenous people have been cheated through laws such as are operated in Nigeria today, through political marginalization, they have driven certain people to death. That happened in America and in Australia. They're trying to repeat it in Nigeria, and we do not want it. In recovering the money that has been stolen from us, I do not want any blood spilt. Not of an Ogoni man, not of any strangers amongst us. We are going to demand our rights peacefully, non violently and we shall win. Can you imagine that this uh, injustice has been going on even before this man, Sarawiwa, and it's been going on after him? Up to now, we are still talking of marginalization. We are still talking of injustice. And that was how this man was killed. And up to today, nothing had happened. Go to Ogoni land, everywhere is just messy. This present administration came and they said they are going to be cleaning up everything. But what do we have today? So guys, I would like you to, you know, deliberate on this man issue. Let's hear your own take. Thank you very much. Bye.